Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to discuss property of inverse Laplace transform of derivative. So first here we have to write down statement of this property. Yes, here we have given this if we have this L inverse of this f of s is equals to this f of t then this L inverse of this nth derivative of this f of s is given by this minus 1 raised to n into t raised to n into f of t where this n is here finite right we have to prove this property here yes what we have given this l inverse of this f of s is here f of t that means here we have this Laplace of this f of t this is f of s right and yes we know yes when we multiplied this f of t by t raised to n its Laplace is given by yes what is this Laplace this is minus 1 raised to n and this nth derivative of this f of s yes this is the property of Laplace transform of multiplication by t raised to n, right? We can write this is as Laplace of t raised to n into this f of t. Yes, this is we can write this is minus 1 raised to n. This is we can write this is as nth derivative of f of s. Yes, now we want Laplace inverse. So, we can shift this. L this Laplace on this side so here we have this L inverse of this is minus 1 raised to n into nth derivative of this as f of s right is equals to this remaining here t raised to n into this f of t right again we can take this minus 1 this is outside so here we have L inverse of this f nth of s is given by this minus 1 raised to n into t raised to n into this f of t. Yes, and which we have to prove. Yes, this is the inverse Laplace transform of derivative, right? That means this L inverse of this nth derivative of this f of s is given by this minus 1 raised to n right into t raised to n into this f of t right. If we consider n is equals to 1 here so what is here what l inverse of this d by ds of this f of s is given by this minus 1 into t into f of t right. Similarly for n is equals to 2 we can write here right. So in this way we have proved this property right inverse Laplace transform of derivative. Now we have to discuss some examples for this property. Now here we have to find inverse Laplace transform of this functions. Yes we can check that here all these are special functions yes when we have given such functions and when we have to find its inverse Laplace so first here we have to take its derivative so that we can convert that function in algebraic function right. That means here we have to use the property of derivatives right. So yes let's proceed for this first example. So this is consider let this f of s this is here log of s plus 1 upon s right. Now Yes, we can simplify this is here. This is log of yes, we can write this is as s square plus 1 upon s right and again Yes, by log rule we can write this is as this is log of s square plus 1 minus log of s right This is by log rule now. Yes, we have to differentiate this is this is differentiating with respect to s so we get here yes this is f dash of s yes log derivative this is here yes 
this is 1 upon s this is s square plus 1 into this is twice s and this log s derivative this is 1 upon s right so yes this is f dash of s we got here this is twice s upon s square plus 1 minus 1 upon s right now we got this algebraic function yes we have logarithmic function when we take its derivative we got this algebraic function now we have to find laplace inverse of this function so taking laplace inverse on both side right now we have to operate this l inverse to this function separately here we have operate this l inverse right so what we got here this is l inverse of f dash of s yes this is what this is l inverse of this 2 outside this is cos of t right and l inverse of this 1 upon s this is here 1 right so we got here this is l inverse of this f dash of s this is 2 cos of t minus 1 right now we want l inverse of this function f of s right so yes we have seen yes this is by property of yes inverse laplace transform of derivative yes we can write this is as here we have this l inverse of f dash of s this is yes this is minus 1 into t into f of t right this is by this property yes now we have this one and we got this one yes if we call this as a one and this is as the second equation right so by one and two yes what we have yes this is 2 cos of t minus 1 is equals to minus 1 into t into f of t right so from this is what we got here this is f of t is equals to yes this is 2 cos of t minus 1 by yes this minus 1 t we can shift on this side so here we have yes we can write this is as a 1 minus twice cos of t upon t right and this is the required inverse laplace transform right yes we have given this f of s and we want l inverse of f of s and that is here given this is f of t right so this is the required inverse laplace transform right that means when we have given such function first we have to differentiate that is with respect to s and we have to use this property right so similarly let's proceed for second example so next here we have to find yes let this f of s is here this is tan inverse of this 2 by s right so yes what we have to do here yes this is differentiating both sides right so here we have this f dash of s now tan inverse derivative yes we know that this is 1 upon this 1 plus this 2 by s its square into yes this derivative of this 2 by s right so here we have used this formula tan inverse x derivative this is given by this 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus x square right now we can simplify this is here right now again we can do the simplification this is s square upon this s square plus 4 into this minus 2 by s square right now again this s square s square get cancelled so here we have minus 2 upon s square plus 4 so we got this is f dash of s right next we have to take inverse laplace transform yes so what is l inverse of this is yes what we have here 
yes we can take this minus outside so here we have l inverse of this 2 upon this s square plus 2 square and what is this this is minus as it is and this l inverse of this is sine of twice t right so here we got l inverse of this f dash of s but what we have we have the property of inverse laplace transform derivative this is given by l inverse of f dash of s this is here minus t into f of t right so we can compare these two equations so from this is here we have yes we can write this is minus t into this f of t is equals to minus of sine twice t so this gives this f of t is equals to here sine twice t by t right and this is the required inverse laplace transform of this given function right similarly here we have this third function this let this f of s is given by this cot inverse of this s plus 1 right now how to proceed for this is yes first we have to convert this function in algebraic function so for this we have to differentiate this function with respect to s right so here we have this f dash of s cot inverse derivative yes we know that cot inverse x this is here minus 1 upon 1 plus x square right so what is this here this is minus 1 upon yes this is 1 plus this s plus 1 square and derivative of this s plus 1 right so this s plus 1 derivative this is 1 so here we have this minus 1 upon this 1 plus now we can expand this is here so here we have s square this is twice s plus 1 and this derivative is here 1 right so yes now we can simplify this is again here this is here we have s square twice s plus 2 so this is f dash of s right so next what we have to do here yes we have to take inverse laplace transform on both sides right so here we have l inverse now we have to find l inverse of this so yes how to find this l inverse of this one yes we know that this is here we have quadratic factor and we can adjust complete square here so here we have s square to s plus 1 right we have split up this two here or we can say that we have adjust third term here right so here we have l inverse of so this is 1 upon this s plus 1 square right and this is plus 1 right so here we have this minus 1 as it is now we can apply first shifting property here so we can take this plus 1 outside so for this here we have to write e raised to minus t right and remaining this l inverse of 1 upon this s square plus 1 right we have applied for shifting property of inverse Laplace transform right so next here we have minus 1 e raised to minus t and l inverse of this is this is here we have sine of t right so here we have find l inverse of this f dash of s right we got this is minus 1 into e raised to minus t into sine of t let's call this is as a 1 equation so next here we have yes l inverse of this f dash of s this is given by minus 1 into t into this f of t right this is property of inverse laplace transform of derivative right so yes we have called this equation 1 and 2 now we have to compare this is here so here we have minus 1 into t into f of t is equals to this minus 1 into e raised to minus t into sine of t right 
So, on simplification, this we get here t into f of t is equals to e raised to minus t into sin of t. So, we got this f of t is equals to e raised to minus t into sin of t, this by t, right? And this is the required inverse Laplace transform for this given function, right? So, yes. In this way, yes, we can try all these examples here. Just we have to remember that when we have given such special function, first we have to convert this in algebraic by taking its derivative and we have to use this property, this L inverse of this F dash of S is given by this minus 1 into T into F of T, right? Or in general, here we have L inverse of nth derivative of f of s is given by minus 1 raised to n into t raised to n into f of t. So, by using these properties, we can find inverse Laplace transform of such functions. So, yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.